Richard Blaze. I hope you enjoyed that. Welcome to Next Level Kitchen, where I'm gonna be showing you some more exciting recipes full of tips and tricks to help take your cooking to the next level, I promise. And today I'm putting the challenge out there because I love pressure, and more importantly, I've done it many times before. Now, this is a next level dish in just 10 minutes. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious pasta dish in just under 10 minutes. Richard Blaze, watch closely. Right, let me take you through the ingredients, shall we? So I'm gonna be using a spaghetti. Capellini will take four minutes. This spaghetti takes sort of eight to nine minutes in boiling salted water. A nice little bit of uh, pecorino to finish. And then from there, we've got some beautiful uh, little lardons. It's um, a sort of cured pancetta. Frozen peas, um, some chili flakes, a little head of lettuce, a cos lettuce, some fresh herbs, fresh parsley, chives, basil. And then from there, a whole chili and a couple of cloves of garlic, a knob of butter, and this, a ladle, because we're gonna be using the pasta water into the final dish, because that is where the magic is. It's the starch from the pasta that helps thicken the sauce. This can be done without the bacon, and literally can be just done with the fresh peas. But the lettuce, for me, is what gives it the vibrancy. This is a dish that I'll sort of eat the night before a big run because it's just hearty, delicious, and more importantly, so easy to do. Right, let's have 10 minutes on the clock. Please, Richard, watch carefully. Right, when I say salt that water, I mean really salt the water, okay? It's almost got a like, taste of the sea because you're sort of basically, you're, you're making the pasta taste delicious as opposed to bland. Now, pasta in, okay? Straight in, get your tongs, lid on, straight in, and then just twist it like that. Literally the minute it's in, and that helps break it up and stops it from sticking together. Lid back on, and that is gonna take eight and a half minutes. Now, pan on, nice and hot. Let's start this amazing rendering process. This is just chopped bacon, and I wanna put it into the pan and start literally rendering the fat out, okay? And already you can smell that really nice crispiness. So get your spoon and just literally push that down. And these little lardons start taking on a little bit of texture and crunch. But more importantly, that fat's rendering down. A tiny touch of grape seed, and that will speed up the process. Now we've got the momentum in the pan and literally give that a light seasoning, okay? It's almost more pepper than salt, okay? Now, from there, you can hear that noise. That means all the water is evaporating, which is great. So you get really nice and crispy in the flavor. Now, get your garlic. Again, just slice them nice and thinly to little shards, okay? The beauty of this dish is that it's almost ingredients that you've got just hanging around. Store-bought pasta, garlic in the fridge, and a little chili. Garlic goes in, open up those shards. And that's why I don't slice it too fine, because it burns quickly, okay? And then I wanna get that really nice and toasty. Toasty, basically I mean caramelized. Flavor on the bacon, onto my garlic, okay? Now, all I'm doing at the bottom here is just wiping up with this spoon, so I'm just lifting off all that amazing flavor. And look, that's really starting to work beautifully. The chili, I like a little bit of heat, with this pasta. Pasta's quite dense, and so I'm gonna keep the seeds in. Nothing wrong with that, okay? A little bit of heat, and then from there, literally, back in to my pan. And now, I start with my butter. If I put my butter in too early, okay, it boils the bacon. So a really nice tip is that you get all that fat rendered down, and then you add the butter. And because the oil has come out of the bacon, the butter won't burn, it's really important. So this is where we start the process of the sauce. Okay, now look at that. The chili, the garlic, and the bacon. Doing beautifully. Now, how do we freshen this thing up, okay? This is a really simple pasta to do in literally under 10 minutes. Now you can see the collection of the butter and the oil frothing away together. Nothing's burning, so I can intensify the heat. Check on my pasta. We're three minutes in, just give that a nice little turnaround. Stop it from separating. Really heavily salt that water. It makes a massive difference when you cook pasta in salted water. Look, beautiful. Now, I've got my frozen peas. They go in. 
Right now. I need you to frost, okay, and I need you to cook. So, again, mix that in, get the ratio right. I've got sort of one third peas, one third bacon, the rest is garlic and chili. Again, a little touch of butter all the way around. And now I'm gonna freshen up this mixture with some really nice fresh herbs. First off are the chives. And I want the chives sort of left into nice batons. I don't want them chopped too small. Chefs are obsessed with chopping chives so fine, all the goodness is gone. So I keep them nice and whole, and they go in. And it gives that really nice, light, sort of onion flavor. The parsley, I just hold down and just chop through roughly, but not, not twice the same leaf. Again, that goes in. And then finally, my basil. Roll it up into a big cigar, slice through, keep it very robust. And again, in. Now, the flavor profile in here is off the charts, okay? It looks healthy. And all those herbs are now literally lifting up the flavor of the bacon, the peas, the garlic, and that chili. Love it. And you can see the sauce starting to work now, where it's got this nice little sort of reduction going on. From there, we'll take a little bit of stock, a little touch of veg stock, literally in. Couple of tablespoons, in we go. And now, it's gonna up the ante on the seasoning. Bring that together, cook all those herbs through. Check out my pasta. Time, please. Five minutes. Five minutes, halfway. Halfway. Pasta's three minutes away. Now, this is where it goes up into a different level. Lettuce, this kind of inspiration came from uh, working in France where we had fresh peas finished with bacon and lettuce. It's the same with pasta. It's beautiful. Cut the lettuce heads in half and let literally just slice. I almost like this sort of salad to sort of better tasting than fresh spinach. It sort of gives a really nice lightness to the pasta, but more importantly, it goes in at the very end. Now, 50% lettuce is water, so don't go too early with that, okay? Leave that ready to go. I'm gonna fold that in when that pasta's cooked. Now, I'm gonna start making my sauce, okay? Adding the butter to the stock, and then from there, I'm gonna take out a little touch of the pasta water. I told you the bit with all the starch, just a ladle, and put that in there. And that naturally starts thickening up that beautiful sauce. Now, bring it together. And look at that flavor. We start correcting the seasoning now. Okay, taste. Mmm, delicious, really delicious. Again, in. Pasta, literally, one minute, out. Now, reduce that down, and you can see that getting really nice and thick, okay? Lettuce goes in at the very end, and then finally, I'm gonna take our lemon, and the lemon goes in now, and again, that with the bacon and the peas and the lettuce is incredible. Nice, reduce this down, so it almost becomes nice and shiny, so it becomes a really nice sort of pea, bacon, herb, sauce. From there, take the lemon, squeeze that fresh lemon juice over that. Now, we got a touch of acid. Mm, that is delicious. It's like this fresh spring garden, it's absolutely packed with flavor. Pasta. Time, please. Wow. So the pasta we're sort of looking for needs to be a little bit sort of translucent. You want a bit of a bite on there? Mmm. 30 seconds. Look at that. It's so beautiful. <coughs> Here's the exciting thing about this dish. It's the kind of dish that can be done whilst you're waiting for the pasta to be cooked. And so, I've done this literally in six minutes. And so you can use a thinner pasta. Capellini literally takes 90 seconds, but the spaghetti, I can really cook with the spaghetti. It doesn't break down like the Capellini would. So I love it now, because look, I call it the magical moment where all that concentration is coming into one beautiful sauce. And you can see how it's all glazed beautifully. And I've made this really nice, fresh, 
herby spring delicious sauce. And now I'm going to start adding my pasta. I'm going to leave the momentum. Don't over drain the pasta. Leave the momentum of that in. And here's where a lot of chefs make the mistake dumping too much pasta in without mixing it through first. I'm mixing first. Mix, mix, mix. And another tip is don't add all the pasta because then you can't see the greenery. And look, mix that in. Let it drain. I want some water shaking in there. And then again, in. And now look, I've got a nice even distribution of all that goodness in there. And now I start the magic. My lettuce goes in and I just very gently fold that in. I turn the gas off and look, what started off with a really nice, humble bit of bacon in the pan has got elevated to this beautiful, rich, spring, delicious pasta dish. Now, when we come to plate, it's really important. Mixing that pasta in and not going too fast is absolutely crucial, okay? So, you can see why I put the pasta in a third, a third, and a third. Mix it round and then just grab the tongs, go over the bowl and look at that deliciousness, honestly. Like I said, ahead of a big run, ahead of a big swim, big bike ride the night before, this is my go-to, honestly. There's enough in there for three of you. And then I've got that nice even distribution of the pasta mixed through the greens. And then look, that, honestly, sits on there. And because of the sort of pick-me-up dish that I use in training, I go a little light on the beautiful red pepper flakes. And then finally, get my aged parmesan and then just go over right at the very end. And look, that is my delicious, incredible, spring, amazing pasta. Richard Blaze, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Now, please let me know in the comments what you think of the dish and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos. Thank you.